Hello, I'm Grimgrin, and welcome to this, my fourth Robocraft Infinity video. And we might as well begin by talking about the latest update, because there has indeed been one between this video and the previous one we did. Which, by the way, is completely awesome. The game's only been out by four or five weeks, and there's already been two relatively substantial updates, with a third one planned in the eventual future. And considering that both of these updates have included extra parts, I'm really quite chuffed about it. If Free Jam continues to support this game as actively as they have been, there's no doubt that I'll continue coming back to it for a pretty long time. But Grim, you say, stop waffling on and actually tell us about the update. Well, okay, I suppose that you're right, so let's get down to it. So the latest update is somewhat thematically themed as a fast update, rather suitably named the Gotta Go Fast update, and it gives us some new legs, which I've unfortunately not yet had a chance to check out, because to unlock them of course you need to have robots, and to get robots you need to do a lot of winning, so essentially I've just not grinded enough yet, and also the blink module, which is a lot of fun. And they've also done some balance fixes, making the base speed, speed boost and health boost of mech legs reduced, and also, perhaps more importantly, making the base speed, speed boost and health boost of tank drags reduced as well. Which, by the way, I totally predicted last video, and while I don't think you had to be much of a genius to see that coming, I'm going to claim I'm one anyway. And so that just about rounds up the latest update. Overall, I think it's an entirely excellent one, new parts are always appreciated because they add to the variety of what you can do in the game, and the balances were sorely needed. One or two bugs that are yet to be fixed though and are entirely infuriating me is the occasional crashing to desktop while trying to join a match, and also I've noticed that despite being told that I'm unable to join a match sometimes, possibly due to how bad my internet is, it still seems to be counting me as leaving, and I have now been incurring leave of penalties. This makes literally no sense to me, the leave of penalty says that I cannot enter another battle because I left the last one early, and yet the message I'm getting while trying to join a game server is that I'm unable to connect to the game server, so how can I be leaving the match early if presumably, being unable to connect to the game server, I surely was never in the match in the first place. And on top of that, considering how ridiculously long it sometimes takes to join a match, having to wait 43 seconds for a punishment I've incurred for actions entirely out of my hands is just, as I stated earlier, entirely infuriating. But Grim, you say, don't worry, I'm sure I'll fix it in no time, especially considering that since it annoys you so much, you've no doubt followed their advice and reported this persistent problem to the Robocraft technical support page. Well, no, not quite. I've actually done nothing but rant about it in this video, but hey, Free Jam should probably watch my videos, right? Yeah, I should probably get off my high horse. And while I dismount my comically large equine, let's get talking about the theme of the month, which is of course Star Wars month, and so this video is somewhat Star Wars themed. And being Star Wars themed, I've been trying to build Star Wars related vehicles. I started off by building this ATTE. It was looking relatively okay, a little bit on the long side, but unfortunately I ran into a bit of a snag. Ah yes, Robocraft's version of the part limit. Am I ever not going to be plagued by this? Though in truth, I wasn't too cut up about this because as I said, it was looking a bit long and there was no real way of fixing that I could find as the reason I made it so long is that the legs can't be placed too close to each other and so it's best to just scrap the vehicle and move on. And having moved on, I moved on right along to a Republic gunship. Why so many Clone Wars vehicles you might ask? Well, I was watching Attack of the Clones at the time. This vehicle's probably not as accurate as it could be. Unlike the Banjo-Kazooie vehicles I built, I didn't use any reference pictures, aside from the movie on in the background, as I've already in fact built this vehicle once before in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, and so I had sort of a vague idea of how it should probably look. That said, I still think it turned out looking pretty darn good, even if it is far harder to hide pieces necessary for functionality within vehicles in this game than it is in Bandit Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. And while the Republic gunship is a total struggle to fly, once you get used to it it can be a lot of fun, and it was really cool going up against an X-Wing in this vehicle. And that about brings this week's Robocraft video to an end. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe and stick around, there will be more Robocraft videos coming out, no doubt, and as I mentioned at the start of this video, it is Star Wars Month here on Channel Grim and Grin, so if you're a fan of that particular space opera, every video going up this month is going to probably be up your alley. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, my Twitter is available in the description, or if you'd like to join the Channel Grim and Grin Discord, the Echo Chamber, a link to that can also be found below. It does both have a tab for Star Wars and Robocraft, so come chat geeky with us.
And so, with all of that said and done, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, I have been and still am, Grim Grindle.